We're back now with this. A tragic story out of Ohio. An elderly man under arrest for killing an Uber driver. Authorities believe they were both unwittingly victims of a scam. ABC's Alex Perez has the details. Authorities warning the public after a phone scam turned fatal. This dramatic dash cam video capturing the deadly confrontation between a female Uber driver and an Ohio homeowner last month after authorities say they were both unknowingly targeted by scammers. Getting a report of a female that has been shot. She's laying in the driveway. 81-year-old William Brock charged with the murder of 61-year-old Uber driver Lolita Hall. Police say it all started when Brock received multiple calls from from scammers who told him a relative had been arrested and demanded $12,000 for bail, telling him a driver would arrive at his home to pick up a package with the money. The guy on the phone was trying to get money out of me. He was telling me he was going to kill me and the family. Authorities believe the same scammers directed Hall through the Uber app to pick up a package at Brock's home. They say this video shows her walking up to his door with no apparent knowledge of the circumstances when Brock confronts her at gunpoint. I was threatened that she was going to come and kill me. You can hear Hall frantically trying to explain why she's there. Police say Brock took her cell phone, and when she tried to get in her car to get to safety, investigators say Brock shot her three times. Then he called 911. I shot her in the leg the first time, and I shot her in the shoulder. Hall later dying from her wounds. Officers are searching Brock's home after the shooting, saying they answered a call from a person they believed to be the scammer who agreed to a meeting but never showed up. Investigators saying they traced that number to Canada, but it's believed to be a burner phone number. Uber banning that account, cooperating with authorities, and in a statement saying, this is a horrific tragedy and our hearts continue to be with Lolita's loved ones. According to the FTC, in 2023, there were more than 33,000 reports of family and friend imposter scams like this and $89 million lost.